Hello. I pray that you are well today. I pray that this day finds you in the confidence of God's love for you in Christ. And we begin a new series today, this, this first day of the week, Monday. This is You Are. You Are. And I would ask that you might consider as you listen to these this week, maybe it isn't just for you. Maybe there's somebody else in your life that you might want to share this with. Somebody who needs to hear this message. Somebody who needs to be encouraged and upbuilt. Today, you are not alone. I want you to recognize you're not alone because being alone means that you're sometimes more sad and more afraid and things seem heavier to hold on to. Like we have to get things off of our back. Things can get exaggerated when we are alone. And the scripture uses this language. He's with you. God is with you. You're, you're not alone. Hebrews says, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. I won't leave you. God says, I won't leave you. He hasn't left you. Even if you have had people leave you, even if you have had people abandon you, forsake you, God will never leave you. He goes on to say, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. You don't have to be afraid because he's present with us. He is with you. And candidly, the one who is with you understands you. Have you ever had a circumstance where you're trying to describe something to somebody and they just don't get it? They don't grasp it. They don't understand it. It seems almost as if more painful, unfortunately difficult, that in fact we don't feel like we're understood. The scripture writes in Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 15, it says, We do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but one who has been tempted in every way, just as we, yet without sin. In other words, if anyone understands you, the details of your life, God understands. Maybe people in your life don't understand. Maybe people who have the same blood in their veins don't understand. Maybe people who are in relationship with you for a lifetime don't understand. But I'm telling you, in clarity, God understands. He is with you. And he understands you. And the third statement is, you belong. You belong. You have a place, something much larger than your life, something much larger than my life. Before my life, after my life, before your life, after your life, we are part of God's redemptive history. We're part of the church of Jesus Christ. And God knew that we would be born, and God knew the day he'll take us home to heaven. But he says, you belong. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 27, you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part of it. Two things. You're part of something much bigger, but you're still an individual. Unity. Unity in the body of Christ. You belong. God understands you, and he will never leave you. You're not alone. Being alone is painful. We get confused in our thoughts, but I say to you with clarity, you're not alone. You will never be alone because he will never leave you and he will never forsake you. That's a significant theological, biblical, spiritual reality that he proved his love for you when Jesus Christ died on the cross for the forgiveness of your sins and he will be with you always to the very end of the age. Brothers and sisters, as I mentioned, maybe there's somebody else in your life who needs to hear these words. Somebody you were thinking of, even as you were thinking about these words for yourself, maybe there's someone else. Maybe share it with them, that they might be encouraged, that they also would know they are not alone. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you that we're not alone. We thank you that we belong to you. We thank you that we are part of something much larger, the church of Jesus Christ and the redemptive history. We give you thanks, Lord God, that, that you are the one who understands us when we don't even understand ourselves, and we can't get other people to understand. But especially, we thank you that you'll never leave us and that you are a helper. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, you are not alone. God bless you. Consider sharing it with someone else. I pray you have a wonderful day today. God be with you.